So if you click this video, man, it's awesome that you're tuning in. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, because today we are going to have a little bit of memory lane for us, simply because we're going to do a little bit of a uh, chit chat regarding this old PC, but we're also going to play some old games, because Windows XP, it's old school, it's retro, and you know it. But some games have been ported to, let's say, newer systems. They are available on Steam and other platforms. But man, it's really retro when we're playing it old school on an old PC. But we're having here as an Acer Power 2000. That is basically an Intel Celeron single core CPU or the Intel Celeron 420. That is clocked on 1 to 60 gigahertz that has in 1 to 50 gigabyte of RAM. The internal storage is something around 40 gigabyte. That is pretty old school. The CPU is an Intel chipset that is a 946GZ chipset. So basically it's all pretty old school, it's old, it's not really, let's say like old like a Pentium 3 and it's a little bit newer because it's more based on the laptop technology as you can see over here. We have a heatsink and everything is very compact. And I think that is pretty cool if you just want to play some old school games. We can all rip it apart but at the end what you're going to get is an Intel CPU socket 775 i did try to update it with something else in the past but it didn't work and i'm guessing you need to refresh the bias for it with this video i also wanted to use an old school lcd 50 inch i will use windows xp professional i have a shitload of serials laying around so this is what we're going to use in this video all right, so let's boot up this little mini machine from back in the day. Right, we're going to get the old and famous Microsoft Windows XP loading screen. And oh my God, I don't miss these days that loading the system itself took basically forever. Nowadays we're so spoiled with SSDs. Everything is configured correctly. So everything is mostly of the time instant boot. Yeah. All right. Welcome, thank you. Ah, and that is what sounds pretty damn nostalgic to me. So yeah, leave it in the comments. How many times did you hear that song? All right, so what we're going to do today in this video, here you can see we have different games. We're going to play some old school retro games. We're going to have some old school Windows XP fun and let it go. So for the first game, we're going to play Doom 95. I played this game quite some time in multiplayer. That's pretty cool, cooperative. All right. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's rush to the end, let's rush to the end. No, don't kill me. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. All right, let's go to the next game. Nine, never forget this. All right, so I will suck at this game. Nevertheless, let's play some Quake number three. Let's bring it on. Oh, this go I'm going to fail so hard. But let's go, have some fun. Let's get the armor. Let's get a plasma rifle. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You have taken the lead. Not bad, not bad. Whoa! Did he just spawn with me? Oh, oh! 
Oh, and great. Alright, I'm gonna get, get my ass whooped in the second difficulty setting. Oh yeah. <laughs> those quotes and those texts are so funny. at risk. Ooh. Not connected to the internet. <laughs> Who remembers this song? It's got stuck in my head forever. Mm. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. All right, so let's do a Star Trek session. I'm a little rusty just so let's see what kind of stages do you remember let's see the castle version mm -hmm. yep played it one too many times oh play this stage so much heal pot 2 let's choose this one all right so no mute let's let's go with instagip who played Instagip? Leave it in the comments, people. Leave it in the comments. I love it. Okay, uh, waving bots, average. You know what? We're going to put them up. Experienced. Adjust auto skill. Number of bots, four. Yep, just fine. Let's it go. Oh. We have some technical difficulties. We have technical difficulties. Ah! Okay, so we're back. Yeah, I replaced the monitor this time. The speaker was fried from the left side. Okay, let's go. Oh crap! They're shooting at each other. Inside good people. Yeah, of course. Just go away. Stop walking in front of my gun. Oh, close, close, close. Come, get some. Memory lane, people. Memory lane. Come. Uh, I want to say, I just want to say, I killed myself. Oh, I got myself. Whoops. He's standing, standing, doing nothing. Cheesy bots. God damn. Ooh, spatter bonus. Alright, so we're having 30 frags to go. Why are you standing still? Okay, people, so I've played this game so much and it's so much fun seeing this and just play it together with you guys. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of a scrimmage. Oh man, I can still remember all of the themes and the specials. Just going to stick with the US. Yes, sir. Oh, needed arrows for moving around. Oh no, no, no. Noob mistake. Let it go. Still waving power enough. Let it go. liked about the Crate 3 engine though we have some awesome mods for example the Bitfa Power Retro version. Alright let's power it on and uh, let's play some Bitfa Power. Oh I'm free though. Oh you can see it's struggling big time because this thing was pretty damn demanding. But it was pretty cool you can create yourself a death bar. Oh yeah. I can't remember how I can fly. Oh, this how. All right, so I needed to show this mod. I don't know if you knew Urban Terror. This is more like a Counter-Strike version. Pretty damn awesome. Of course, we can play online, so we need to start the game if I can. 
before I... There are some different weapons out there that you can choose. They look pretty damn hor horrible. Oh man, they look horrible. But the fun fact is that these games are pretty demanding compared with the original Quake 3 game. I think, no, I didn't add any bolts. I can add bolts, or I can remember there was a way you can add bolts, for example. But this is not our typical Mortal Kombat game. What also can be possible to play is Windows P with Mugen, for example. Scorpion. They did a really good job with this one. Or not. <laughs> what the hell? No, no, no. Oh, here it is. Another funny version was this Mugen All-Star thing that has a combination of different characters of all games. So let's try. Let's see if we can find the buttons. What was the question? <laughs> All right, you guys, so there you have it old school Windows XP gaming in 2020. So this is a one of the many ways you can enjoy these old school games and don't forget that some of these games are not even compatible with your new generation machines like Windows 7, 8 or Windows 10. But nevertheless, you can pick these things up for quite, let's say, a little amount of money and you can enjoy yourself some old school games. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell and become one of the Wicked Gaming community, the Wicked family, or I love to call it, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, just great. Rule my thumb and ending screen, yeah. Ugh.